guys, welcome to the WeChat developer integration tutorial video 1. This video will cover the setup of a WeChat official account for use in developer mode and it will also show you how to do a basic text automated response so you can basically start playing with the, the platform. So first of all we go to admin.wechat.com um, so you know there will be a basic few things that you'll need. You'll need in the official account uh, that you can set up with WeChat themselves and then also you get access you need access to your own web server. So once you receive these official account uh, account login details you can log in over here um, just logging into a test account and then once you logged in it'll pop up with a little flash notice that you'll see up the top just saying you're not allowed to do any porn uh, fraud or anything depicting violence basically just read through that and make sure you agree to that once you pass that uh, there's, there's quite a f nice features that this admin console has but we're just gonna go get straight into the advanced section of it and go from there in a, an official account there's two modes the one is the edit mode which you can use for basic automated responses but then again the one we're gonna focus on the one that's active right now is the developer mode so this allows you to really integrate and, and pull in all the content from your services from your site as you would like it to be so the first thing is you need to switch developer mode to on when you just come in this you might not be a registered admin platform developer all you need to go do is click register fill in some details and then the screen will come up so what you want to do is head off to the interface config click on edit then over here is the URL that WeChat will be eating so if someone goes onto the WeChat app they do start following your account and they send a text message in this is the URL that will effectively receive that input from the client you'll do some sort of processing and then that will forward be forwarded on to the WeChat interface so the URL I'm using is a test account so looking for that just make sure you've got the full URL and I'm gonna go for responder.php that's the language we're using for this demo I mean WeChat doesn't care what language you're coding in as long as the response is XML so we take the URL we also pass in a token now this is your own token that you make up this is the one place that you'll enter it uh, the second place will be inside your code so this would be used to to encode the responses between the two servers um, for now we'll just do a simple one we'll do a test one two three token uh, if you click here what is token that'll also take you through to the messaging API giving you more information on the actual token and what it does before we submit this going back to the documentation you'll see what it says when the application is submitted a get request will be sent to the URL provided above with the four parameters below signature timestamp no ones and echo string you should check whether the HP request is from WeChat by verifying the signature we'll do that now and if that is correct all this is is to protect your application from being DDoS attacked or even someone stealing the information that's actually contained within your API so it's just another protection layer and all it does there is ensures that the request is really coming from WeChat the way it does that is by us filling in this special token which is currently test123 which no one else knows only WeChat and you do so we'll we'll do a little check you'll see in our code so going to the file you'll see that they saying that we should sort the three values of the token time span no ones alphabetically so what I've done here is I've set the first value as our uh, 
I set the first value as our token. All this means is we're just hard coding this effectively into the data. You'll see I'm creating an array here. So next value is just taking in this timestamp, third value taking the what no ones. And then it does a little sort on the array to sort it as they're saying we should sort the three values of token timestamp and no ones alphabetically. Combine the three parameters into one string and encrypt it using SSA1. Over here, we are combining it into one string. And over here, when we do the check, we do the SHI1 encoding. Then we do a little compare to the signature that gets passed through from WeChat. If all this matches up, that means that the request came from WeChat and we're ready to proceed. If it's not, you can always build in a little extra piece here that says, die, you are not supposed to be here. So what it then does, it goes in and echoes out the echo string. So this all happens in that moment when you click submit over here, click submit and it'll get to here and it'll echo out the echo string and then WeChat will know, cool, you're checking all the right values. If you really want to skip past it and I don't recommend it, it's literally just taking the simplest form to get this to work would be just to go straight to the top you can echo out the echo string that's being passed. It will work. However, it's definitely it's definitely not recommended. So if I were to just echo out the echo string, that would allow me to bypass the screen once I submit this. But like I said, we don't recommend that. We recommend you follow the proper procedures as they're there for a reason.